Hey guys, it's been raining on and off today, so I haven't grabbed the camera at all, and it's gonna rain again. It's been just one thunderstorm after another after another, but I'll give you a brief summary of what we've done today, and that'll be it. Um, Melanie worked here. She did a lot of work here, actually. Uh, all on her own, she hauled these stones over and then pulled out the grass and weeds. And now she wants me to get her some mulch for this area. That'll be pretty. So that was Melanie's project. I've got the birds out grazing. Somebody's talking about overcrowding. I don't understand what you're seeing here. Because they got, they're happy. I don't know. But anyway, I'll show you on inside the chicken coop and show you what I've been doing all day. I've literally worked in here all day. I cleaned out the entire floor and put new bedding down thinly. Um, I just wanted to keep the, um, it, it didn't make a big difference. The flies were building up in here and the uh, pine shavings dried it up, which is what I wanted. And I've had the windows open all day. Now what I've done is, um, it's not done yet, but I've, I've been building nesting boxes. So there's going to be seven nesting boxes here for egg layers. And then underneath is going to be a uh, board all the way across for roosting for any birds. And it'll be up a little bit higher. It'll be half height between there and the bottom of the nesting boxes. And that'll be for any birds that want to roost on a post. And then I'll have another one across here, as I had said, from about the egg laying level, running across the window, about, I don't know, somewhere out of ways so that they don't poop on everything. But I'll have a board running all the way across here for the birds to nest. And then maybe one across this window as well. And then I'm going to have a ramp up for them to walk across to here. And probably over on this side I'll have a little ledge to walk on because I built a chick brooder. Uh, it's not done. I have to build the door. The whole front is going to be a drop down door. So literally undo the latch and the whole front, which will be a screen, will flip forward and hang down out of the way. And then the um, clean out tray slides right out. And that's from a dog kennel that I'm using for the birds outside for um, grazing and free ranging. Um, got the tiki lights up in here. So they've got warmth. Well, that green one keeps giving me trouble. It keeps going out. I've strung up, I took out the bulbs out of the two that wouldn't reach, and then I've got the four in there so that they can snuggle up for warmth. And later I'm going to hang them so they're suspended a little bit, just uh, short of touching the ground so they won't get pooped on all the time. And they'll be easier for me to deal with. Um, they're not going to be really fastened to anything so that I can just simply pull them out and change bulbs as needed. And I made this to fit the water and the feeder with no problem. And you can see there's 15 birds in here and they're comfy and happy. And this is just their overnight place. In the daytime, they will be out in uh, free range chicken tractors. So anyway, I wanted to show you what I've been up to all day. And the birds are very happy. They're chirping very happily. Um, I might close off this side wall because that is the outdoor wall with some insulation and a piece of paneling to give them a little bit more warmth. Also on the back wall, I um, have put OSB and now they have a space. There's an air gap between the outside walls. So they have, in a way, they have paneling here uh, between them and the outside wall. And then I'll eventually probably insulate this side and the ceiling as well. And then maybe I'll make the door a um, partial screen door with an insulated wall so you can have a view through. But yet, and they have fresh air, but yet I can drop that door down. And uh, that way in colder nights they'll be comfortable. But right now they're very happy. Um... Again, everything's not done yet. I want to put a, a brace from here to the ground, probably right in line with this board here and all the way down so that everything's tied in together. Um, that's just sitting there for now, just holding the weight up until I get everything finished. But I was just picking away using scrap lumber today. 
Uh, nothing square or straight. It was just scraps. There was scrap cuts of OSB that I just happened to fit in there. And um, yeah, scrap lumber from the, that's rough cut scrap lumber from the lumber yard. And yeah, I just threw it together. Like I said, just piecing things together as I went. The um, nesting boxes are going to be a little bit higher, and that way they have more privacy in between when they're nesting on the on the um, the uh, straw and the bedding material. Then one hand won't see the other on the side. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nesting boxes for egg layers. Um, People were concerned that I'm going to have this be too overcrowded, but I don't think so because I know birds are going to nest up in there. A lot of birds are going to sit on top of it and poop down into the nesting boxes. Um, for sure, a lot of birds are, are going to sit up on the tops of them and roost on them. They always do. And then I'll have the roost across the bottom, which will hold about 8 to 10 birds. And then I'll have a roost across the entire side wall, which should hold another 8 to 10 birds. And um, I think this is just a nighttime place. This is just for nighttime. And I think that this will hold 20, 30 birds comfortably. And we're talking, if you look at the tractor supply um, chicken coops that claim to hold four to five birds, they're no wider than my nesting box and not even as long. Those are tiny little chicken coops if you look at them. And... Um, you know, this is an 8 by 8 by 8 which is going to be three-dimensional. And, um, you know, the birds are going to have multiple levels to, to, to sleep in. So I don't think there's a problem. And then, like I said, all my chickens will be here in one place now. The brooder and everything, it's all going to be in one place now. So this is the absolute best we've ever had as far as raising chickens. And again, it's not done. I've got a long way to go, but... We're getting there. They're comfortable, and that's important. Oops, now I lost two lights. I've got a... Ugh, those are horrible, horrible lights. I'm definitely going to be um, working on improving them because they keep coming and going. Horrible connections. So before nighttime, I will um, better secure those lights in their sockets. And um, I like the idea of the tiki lights, so I might end up actually f looking at garage sales and getting a, a newer set in better shape, and also getting bulbs. And I'll probably put a battery up on top of the chicken brooder and have a solar panel outside and a small inverter to run those lights at night. Free energy, solar powered chicken coop, and then I'll have LED lighting in here with the light switch for myself as needed. All right, guys, Melanie said that. Um, Dinner was ready, so I better get in there anyway. And I'll talk to you all later. Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project.